Welcome to week 8 of your Team 6 training program. This last week we're going to talk about branding yourself. It's one of the most important lessons we can share with you. Learning how to effectively brand yourself in your community and circle of influence is key to long-term growth in this business. You must learn how to separate yourself and position yourself so that you can stand out from the rest of the crowd. And while you can try to use a bull in a pasture to try to brand yourself and your message, we want to teach you how to use social media, your website, videos, flyers, and other techniques to help leave a lasting and positive impression. Branding yourself will take effort, but if you apply the slight edge principles, then over time you'll become the expert people will seek out. In this recorded presentation, we want to help you identify multiple techniques to help you. These techniques fit nicely into our three key goals, which are improve your end factor or skill level, acquire customers, and attract business builders. As you already know by now, customers provide you with the cash flow to grow your synergy business, and business builders provide you with the organizational structure to create your residual income stream through basic commissions, mega matches, and leadership bonuses. To acquire customers and attract business builders requires you to brand yourself in two different but congruent ways. For your potential customers, you need to become a wellness coordinator. For your potential business builders, you need to become a synergy leader. Do not confuse wellness coordinator with a wellness expert. While they may have overlap, it's important that you brand yourself as the person who can supply your customers with good, accurate, and trustworthy information. This means that you need to become an expert in delivering information that speaks to your audience's needs and health concerns. And you need to become a leader in Synergy Worldwide. People only follow followers to find the leader. If you want to build a huge Synergy business, then you need to become a leader. Inherently, this is what the Team 6 training program is designed to do. As you continue to use this training program for your own personal development and skill acquisition, you'll become a leader who can lead others. This is going to help you attract business builders because you're going to gain confidence in running your business. This is going to help you acquire customers because you're learning how to use your tools to effectively move people through your funnel. Now I want to share with you a personal story so that you can see how the process of branding yourself can make a difference in your synergy business. In 2009, I paid $997 to Mark Hoverson to take his personal branding course. This course helped me understand the process of branding myself. Because of this course, I made the decision to brand myself through YouTube videos. It was a slow process because I had to learn new information as well as step out of my comfort zone to apply this information. I estimate that in 2009, I had maybe a total of 2,500 channel views. Here's a quick snapshot three years later. On April 21st of 2012, I had a total of 114,000 channel views on my YouTube account. On September 26th of 2012, I had a total of 171,500 channel views on my YouTube account. In five months, I've had 57,500 channel views. That's 380 channel views per day of people watching my 99 different YouTube videos. This is a body of work I've created over the last three years. It's helped me to acquire customers and attract business builders. It's branded me on the internet as an expert on the endothelium and nitric oxide. But it didn't happen overnight. It's a body of work created by using the slight edge principles. In addition to helping me acquire customers and attracting business builders, there are others in Synergy Worldwide that use my videos to help them acquire customers and attract business builders. And the beauty of this branding process is that these YouTube videos work 24-7. Additionally, others use them to grow their Synergy business. Why not let them work for you? Gene and I will show you how as we go through today's Team 6 presentation. Now strap on your seatbelt because there's a lot to cover in a short period of time. We're going to show you two different models to help you conceptualize this branding process. Here's the first one. Your goal is to put together the puzzle pieces to help you move from where you are at to being recognized as a wellness coordinator and synergy leader. 
In this slide, we have four components. Become an expert on something that relates to your business. Establish a website or blog under your full name. Learn how to be a good source for information. Generate brand awareness through networking. Let's start with becoming an expert on something that relates to your business. There are many niche markets for Progen Plus. There are obvious ones like high blood pressure, diabetes, cholesterol concerns, women's heart health, African American health, ED or erectile dysfunction, athletic performance. Choose one and become an expert in this area, but also be familiar with all the other recorded presentations that will speak to each one of these health needs. Remember, you're a wellness coordinator. But also be willing to think outside the box. For example, beautiful healthy nails or competitive cycling. Let's do a brief case study on beautiful healthy nails. You have the 90 days to beautiful healthy nails flyer. Go around to every hair, nail, and day salon in your area. Ask them if you can leave this flyer in their establishment. If they allow you to promote yourself in their establishment, then you want to return them a favor. Would they be willing to give you a coupon offer that you can give to your customers? As they're promoting your business, you can promote theirs. Get as many promotional offers from as many businesses as possible. Use your computer skills to make a coupon sheet or sheets. Print them off your computer and staple them together if you've got more than one sheet. Then give them to your customers as a way of saying thanks for using ProAgine Plus. Even offer them to your male customers to give to their wife or significant other. You can even pass them out at meetup groups when people are willing to give you their business cards. Just make sure you OK the coupon offer with the business owner who is allowing you to advertise in their location. You're branding yourself and your networking all at the same time. Will this require some extra work on your part? Absolutely, but this is how you grow a business from the ground up, by creating mutually beneficial relationships. In the next model, we call this guerrilla marketing. Plus, it has the potential to build relationships that can lead these business owners to consider becoming part of your synergy business. This would allow them to sell Project Plus to their customer client base, and as they have success in this area, they can then lead you to other business owners who would be interested in this business model. This creates organizational volume to turbocharge your basic commissions, mega matches, and leadership bonuses. The same can be done for competitive cycling. Go to all the bicycle shops in the area and see if they will carry one of your 90 days two flyers on their counter. To help reciprocate their kindness in helping you promote your product, you want to help them. Would they have a coupon offer that you can give to your customers encouraging them to visit their store? Or better yet, invest some of your time, energy, and financial resources to attend bicycle races in your area. As you pass out your information, pass out these coupon offers. This creates win-win marketing situations for everyone. Another branding strategy is to establish a website or blog under your full name. We would first suggest a website because a blog is a lot of work. In fact, your Facebook page can act as your blog and we'll talk about this in a little bit. Here is a screenshot of my personally branded website. It says Dan Hammer Health. I've clearly branded myself and my mission. Maybe your name is taken or it's too hard to spell like Jean's last name of La Valley. For Jean, we decided to brand her as Health with Jean. A little different, but it still does the same thing. It's easy to remember, and it clearly brands Jean and Health together. In your goal to become a wellness coordinator, you must learn how to be a good source of information. Know how to use your replicated website and all the great content it contains. Know where to find all the recorded presentations on the Global Health Makeover website so that you can match their health concern with the proper video. To help you get started in this process, we've created one page that contains all our health and athletic related videos. You will find it at www.globalhealthmakeover.com. Once on the website, hover your cursor over Resources and a drop down menu will appear. Click on Cardio Wellness Library and use these videos to speak to the health and athletic needs of your potential clients. But don't just depend upon this library. 
As you come across other excellent material and videos, make your own list with the proper URL links. This way you have one central document from which to copy and paste. It will save you a lot of time and effort. It's a slight edge principle. Another method is to generate brand awareness through networking. I've generated brand awareness through my YouTube videos. Gene has generated brand awareness through networking. In the previous slide, I gave four illustrations about how a person could begin to brand themselves to others. I'd like to focus on the fourth illustration, which is generate brand awareness through networking. And this is what Gene has done. So Gene, would you share and explain to our Team 6 members how you started this process and how it has grown and helped you? Okay, well I started it by accident. It wasn't something that I set out to do. I wasn't going to say, I didn't go out, I didn't know that much about branding until I met Dan. So what, what people kept saying to me was, get yourself out there, get yourself out there. So uh, the only way I knew to do that was to go to meetups and talk to people, other people who were networking. Okay. And as I've been to all these different networking events, I now have become, people know who I am, they know what I do, I sell pyrogenine, I know about nitric oxide, they come to me with questions about health, and through branding myself or actually building relationships and building a trust with people, then people, that was my main goal then after a little while was that people will know who to go to if your blood pressure starts to go up or if you know somebody with diabetes, that I would be that go-to person and they would know me and trust me to talk to me about that. So basically you become in their eyes the heart disease lady. Yes, yes. Right. Or in, the, a, in a good way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that if they've got some issue or a family member has some issue with regards to a heart disease or cardiovascular issue, we need to talk to Gene. Right. Exactly, yes. And, you know, people will say, come to me and say, tell me a little bit more about what it is. You know, you seem really passionate about this. And it becomes just second nature to you after a little while. Great. And it's sharing information over a long period of time. I, I, you have to be patient. And building a brand is not a simple thing to do. You know, you're not going to be a can of Coke overnight. Wait, hold that thought because we're going to come back to that thought a little bit later in our presentation. Okay. Okay. Thanks. You're welcome. We showed you one model with puzzle pieces. Here's another model for you. It's a funnel. Up at the top of the funnel are different methods to create interest in you. You have your websites, social media, guerrilla marketing, networking activities. They're all designed to create interest in you as a wellness coordinator and a synergy leader. This creates interest or awareness in you and your business. As you engage with your potential customer and business builders, use your tools like the art of asking questions to help determine their health or financial needs. Then send them recorded presentations or give them information that will match up to their needs. Establish follow-up appointment to review this information. Once they become a customer or business builder, then your follow-up and customer service skills come into play. This helps them become a loyal customer and team member. As their belief is built in you, the product and company, this will lead to advocacy for the product and business opportunity. In the early part of this presentation, we gave you a couple of examples of guerrilla marketing. You're only limited by your comfort zone and your imagination. And in the previous video segment, Jean shared how she is using networking activities to brand herself within her community. So let's talk about social media like Facebook and Twitter. Instead of setting up a separate website for blogging, which takes a lot of time and effort, you can really accomplish the same thing on Facebook and Twitter. In both situations, you're looking for people to like you on Facebook or follow you on Twitter. Spend some time learning how to grow your likes on Facebook and follows on Twitter. Then post to both accounts. Post videos that will educate your audience. Post testimonials from people who have benefited on Progen Plus. But don't focus solely around Progen Plus. Make Progen Plus just a part of your posting so that people don't feel you're just one-dimensional. Remember, you're the wellness coordinator. Use the art of asking questions to generate discussions on your Facebook page. Ask others to share their health tips or business building tips. 
It's all about creating community and people wanting to get your tweets or posts because they have value. It's all about becoming a good source of information, a wellness coordinator. Gene, another key component in branding is learning how to be a good source of information and you started to talk about that in the last segment. And so would you share how you've used resources to help people obtain the needed information to help them make a decision to improve their health by using Prioritizing Plus? Well, the, the resource that I use more than anything is the flyers and the brochures. Okay. Because when I go to networking events, that's what I carry with me. I also carry samples in my purse. I carry flyers in my purse. I carry brochures in my purse um, and my business cards. And you never know where somebody is going to say, hey, you know, I've got this health problem and I need to talk to you about it. Yeah, if you've ever seen her purse, you know that she can pack a lot of stuff in there. Yes. That's a woman's right. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, well, it's obviously, and I do feel bad for the guys because they don't have that option. But it is, it's important to have your tools with you. It's important to know which tools resonate with you and you're the, the most comfortable with. I have been so comfortable with the brochures and the flyers that now I'm moving on to more to asking questions. So that, that's something that's starting to come really naturally to me when I, Dan sees it when I ask him all the questions mm -hmm. that I ask him. Yeah. It, it does make a big difference in my networking groups where I ask people how many people in here know somebody with high blood pressure or have high blood pressure yourself. And the hands go up and I say keep your hands up and let me bring you this brochure and get this into the hands of the person that you were thinking of when you ra rose your hand. Ra rose your hand? Raised, raised raise your, your hand. hand. Raise your hand. So you don't have to be a good English speaker to be <laughs> successful in this business. Right? Proof positive. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I mangle words all the time, so it doesn't matter. And that yeah. what people are going to catch is your passion and they'll bypass the words that you say. It's the passion. And right. then you've got the flyers that you've talked about. And as people show interest, do you connect them with any of the recorded presentations? Absolutely. Yeah, that was the ne next thing I was going to say, too. Well, a lot of the um, recorded presentations are on my website, and my website's on my business card. So I will tell people, go to my website, look up high blood pressure, you'll, you'll get a video there. Uh, if, if I am talking to somebody on the phone, I'll say, are you by a computer? Why don't you uh, go to this? web address and watch this and let me know what you think. A lot of the times when you ask people, you know, would you give me your feedback, that's kind of instead of saying, hey, go watch this. Okay, great. So those are the resources I use. Am I missing something, asking questions? You know, though, is funneling considered a resource? Yes, it's certainly a tool. You know, understanding the concept of funnel, so you're using resources in that big bag of yours to put people into your funnel and then you're using parts, other resources as they go through the funnel to help move them through that funnel because you have the different places in the funnel. You're, you're creating, you, you have your marketing strategies that create the awareness and then they have the evaluation period that they need to go through and that's all, again, providing them with different tools to help them in that evaluation period to the point where they're willing to make a commitment, the 90 day challenge commitment. Well, what I was going to say is that funneling has been a huge resource for me as well, only because I, I, it's my go-to when I realize, am, am I making any progress with somebody? It doesn't really matter how much progress I'm making as long as I'm following up and as long as they're in okay. my funnel, then I'm seeing that as, as good results coming out. And it, it's, it helps me in my business more than anything. All right, good. Excellent. Thank you. You're welcome. Another major part of your branding operation is your business card. They're an inexpensive way to brand yourself. Make sure your contact information is on your card. Instead of having your address on the card, make sure you have the following pieces of information. Your name, contact phone number, website URL, email address, Twitter name, Facebook URL. Think of your business card as an exchange of information. As you engage people through the art of asking questions or through local networking groups and activities, give them your business card only after you've received their contact information. We want you to understand what we just said. Give them your business card only after you've received their contact information. If you give them your business card first, then they have no reason to give you their information. They can easily say, if I'm interested, I'll contact you. Instead, use the previous techniques we've shared with you so that you can identify their needs first. 
Offer them a recorded presentation that will speak directly to their need and that you will send it via email. This gives you a reason to ask for their contact information. Make sure you establish a follow-up time to review this information with them, then give them your business card. Another inexpensive method to generate local traffic and brand yourself on the Internet is to use local directories for search engines like Google, Yahoo, Bing, MSN, Yelp, and Facebook places to name a few. These are typically free listings. If set up properly, they will help improve the search engine optimization for your website and generate local traffic for you as people in your area search for Parage 9 Plus. As we close out our presentation on branding, I've asked Jean to share any final thoughts on this important piece to your Synergy business. Well, I think it's so important to be branded because and when I say branded, I mean get the word out to everybody you know what you do. Mm -hmm. and just because they don't become a customer or they don't want to sign up with you doesn't mean that they're not in your funnel. But also you have to put yourself in this position and what I personally believe is because our product is so unique and because our product can help so many people, this is going to become a product that is very popular yes. and what you have to let people know that you know about this and that you know about nitric oxide and they're not going to know that if you don't open your mouth and, and let them know. Yeah, you made a really important point that people are going to become aware of what we're already trying to teach people because if we're going to move towards preventative health, the endothelium and nitric oxide are going to become hugely important and Synergy Worldwide is going to become known as the nitric oxide supplement company and it's going to be the primary product that people are going to go to. So the more that you can have people understand your brand that you are passionate about this product and what it can do for their cardiovascular health, the more that when the outside public becomes aware of this, you're just going to set yourself up in position for people to come to you because right. you are the person. You're the go-to person. Right. You're the person. Yeah. Yeah. So you want to be the person in your community that knows about endothelial health and function and nitric oxide and you don't necessarily need to know all the signs to it, you just need to know how to use the resource tools, the recorded presentations to educate the people that you know and be passionate about this business because you are changing people's lives and, right. and I don't know of anything that's more fulfilling than helping people to improve one of the major areas of their life which is health. Right. Right. And I just wanted to add to something that uh, my son taught me when he was teaching second graders was you don't have to have the answer. The smart person knows where to look for the answer. Yes. Great. Good. So be the branded person who knows where to find the answer through the recorded presentations that we've created. And if we're missing a recorded presentation, let us know because we that's, that, that's the easy part of the business is to create the presentations. Your part is to understand how to use those recorded presentations to give us feedback so that we can continue to innovate, create the tools to make your job so much easier to do to share the information. That's part of the branding process. Right. Thanks, Dan. Thank you. Here are your assignments for week eight. Assignment one. Continue to review your funnel to see how you can increase your ability to brand yourself in your community. Be willing to share on your group's conference call some of the ways that you're branding yourself. This will help others learn from your branding techniques. Assignment 2. Read the rest of The Slight Edge by Jeff Olson. Identify the one most important idea you learned and how you think this will help you. Please write this down in your journal. Assignment 3. Complete your reading of No More Heart Disease by Dr. Ignaro. Identify the one most important piece of information that impacted you and add this to your journal. Jean and I look forward to discussing this in our upcoming group conference call. Or if you're in a Team 6 program led by someone else, then please be a committed participant. You bring great value to your team of six, and your participation with your group and Team 6 leader will pay huge dividends in the growth of your Synergy business. If you decide to continue in another Team 6 program, then invite others in your Synergy business to join you. Take the time right now to register for the next session. Make the most of this training program and begin the process of making this information your own 
so that you can become a leader in Synergy Worldwide.